came out of my office one day and Bill Manus was sitting out on the little triangle outside the school, outside the office, and he wanted to, to talk with me about the community and Peace Tree Presbyterian Church getting involved, particularly with our Hispanic community. He and I were standing out by the front door of the gym for some reason, and the school bus came by, the yellow school bus, and the children got out. And as they're walking up the street, Bill's like, why, who do you think helps them with their homework? Um, do you think the parents um, are well educated? Do you think the parents are working? Do you think the parents are uh, speak English? Anyway, he, he started worrying about the children. sat down and brainstormed what we needed and then he said thank you very much I'm gonna make this happen and the next thing I know he's coming back saying this is what we have how do we get the kids there can you work with APS to get the kids there what about materials can your teachers provide us with the kinds of books and materials I can get the volunteers can you come up with the curriculum I've never heard any more about it didn't think a thing about it and then one day, I can't remember how he told us it was actually going to happen, but we were going to start tutoring. And it was going to be called La Amistad because that was the meaning of friendship. The nice thing about La Amistad is that each of our kids basically gets a third parent because there's somebody over there that kind of has that relationship with the child that can either go to the parents and say, we didn't get a signature here. Can you do this? The school needs this. The way Bill made decisions, I would be sitting there working, and he'd say, Gilda, come walk with me. Okay. So we go walk, and he talks about something, and then uh, it wouldn't be unlike him to say, okay, okay, that's thanks, and just kind of dismiss me. And then he might come get Leanne. Leanne, come walk with me. And when she's in the middle of something, I say, Go walk with him. I don't know why he didn't talk at his desk. It was always, come walk with me, come walk with me.